Welcome. My name's Professor Lindsay Kemp from the American University of Rasselheimer. And I'm the one of the professors in management for the School of Business. I'm also the director of the School of Business graduate programs. I'm here today to talk about our research, which is involved with women and organizations, leadership from theory to practice in the Northern Emirates of the United Arab Emirates. And we're very happy to have been supported by a grant from the Al Qasimi Foundation. So as a group of investigators, we're going to go out and listen to the women of the Northern Emirates as they tell us about their experiences of where they came from to how they got to doing the roles that they're doing now. The idea of this is that it will add to academic knowledge and also it will reinforce our virtual centre for women in leadership. So I'll introduce you to our co-investigators. First of all, we have Dr. Marty, who's a colleague of mine from the American University of Ras al Khaimah. And he's going to tell us today, thank you very much, Mohammed, about the benefits to academia of the research that we're doing. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you, Professor Lindsay. Uh, I am Muhammad Uthman Sharif Mahdi Abbakar, uh, Chair Department of Management at American University of uh, Ras al Khema. And uh, I am a co-investigator uh, in this uh, project. Uh, we are interested in this uh, project because it investigates the under-examined area of uh, women in leadership in the Northern Emirate and um, the UAE in, in general. So we hope the results of uh, our contribution to uh, the area would help the academia and the faculty members to gain further knowledge and uh, training experiences. That would help them to design their courses the research and then help, you know, in enhancing the women in organization in uh, the UAE. We have also um, developed a virtual website that would uh, be talked about by my colleague uh, Norita to give further insight of what this uh, website contains and how that can help the interested stakeholders. Thanks so much. And we're moving now over to talking a bit more, as Mohammed alluded to, about our website. So we'll move on now to my colleague from the American University of Sharjah, uh, Professor Nora Ahmed, who's going to tell us a bit more about our virtual centre and also about our expert women's list. Thanks, Norita. Thank you so much, Professor Lindsay. Um, so my name is Dr. Norita Ahmad from American University of Sharjah. I am a professor of MIS and I am also the director at Center for Innovation in Teaching and Learning at American University of Sharjah. So a little bit background on my involvement um, with women in leadership and women in organization group. So as a woman, um, I was an engineer. I started my career as engineers, and I was always one of the minorities. Always felt that you know I didn't belong. So it's it was very motivating when you have a support group like this where we can come together and then kind of um, look at inspiring women, talk about some of the challenges that we face, and talk about what else can we do to kind of move ourselves and support one another. So now I am in the business school, but I'm teaching MIS. So again, I'm very much in the technology side. So again, 
a minority to some extent. So when we had this opportunity to basically come together and develop this website and this project, so I was very excited about this. So the website basically is a repository where we have a lot of case studies, multimedia, videos that can be used by women, can be used by educators, um, by anybody in general, so that um, if you need any help, any resources um, to help you, to guide you in terms of how to teach younger women or how to teach a specific topic, um, that you are interested in, so you can basically come to our website for that. In addition to that, we also have, we created this um, database that we called um, an experts women list. So in this database, any woman who has any kind of skill that you want to contribute, you can sign up, and then if, let's say, somebody is looking for a specific woman for, with a specific um, skill, you can come as well and go through our database and then find a match. So basically, we provide a central location for anything that is related to women in organization, um, basically at any level. Okay, so we are in the process of adding more material as well, so my colleague is going to be talking about that later. Thanks. Great, um, Narita. And also mentioning, of course, that these materials that you've mentioned that we've got on the virtual website are also to showcase women's achievements in the um, United Arab Emirates with particular emphasis on the Northern Emirates because we realised that women's achievements over here hadn't really been showcased so people didn't know about them around the world and um, particularly our sponsors, the uh, foundation, our Kasimi Foundation, are particularly interested in showing those achievements of the worthy women we have in organizations in the Northern Emirates. So we'll move across now to my colleague, Dr. Sabur, who will be actually talking about our recent innovation, which is moving into podcasts. So tell us all about that, please. Um, thank you so much, Lindsay. Uh, my name is Dr. Sabir. I'm an assistant professor of mass communication in School of Arts and Sciences at American University of Russell Khaimah. The reason why I you know, immediately wanted to get involved with this project is um, just by looking at the website, for example, the kind of people that we are going to have interviewed in the past and uh, with the potential of who we are going to interview for this particular cycle, um, we will get to know such interesting stories. Uh, you know, which cuts across, uh, you know, a nationality, which cuts mm -hmm. across uh, different age groups and I believe different levels of mm -hmm. management. So I think that really attracted me. I thought like to meeting all those wonderful, uh, you know, women and understanding their story would really bring a lot of interesting perspective onto the table. And the very fact that we are engaging with the audience in a new format. Um, so we thought of getting getting a podcast so it will be available to you on any podcast platform that you get your podcast from but yeah my involvement was basically where I, I, I just I just I, I just thought it's a great opportunity to really make the material that we already have and we're getting new material in the most easily accessible um, and I think it, it podcasts have really uh, become very popular I think all the characters all the women uh, leaders that we have interviewed I think that will be an excellent excellent resource for somebody to can get access to through podcast. Thank you very much. So what we've heard about here is a research project that's focused on a particular area in the geographical area, which is Ras al Khaimah and the other Northern Emirates, and that we're sponsored by through a grant from the Al Qasimi Foundation that has allowed us to do this research work which will turn into practical resources for uh, women internationally to hear about the achievements of women, to offer professional development, multimedia resources that can be used by men and women for teaching and training. Also, we've talked a little bit about the contribution that we're making both on a practical level and also of course on a to academic knowledge which is very important we'd like to also invite women 
in the Northern Emirates to come forward to speak to us to be part of the interviews that we're doing. We'd also like to invite women to participate in our expert women's list as well. In August, we'll be celebrating Emirati Women's Day. And what we're going to create for that as an extension to our cent virtual center for women in leadership is an immersive experience, an event that will be innovative, that will draw you in to hear more about women in leadership in the Northern Emirates. Thanks very much. Good work all. Thank you. 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 Lindsay.